वेलकम बैक टू इंडियन टाइम्स डेली द टॉप टेन हेडलाइंस फ्रॉम अमेरिका आर इंडिया हैज कम आउट स्ट्रांगली अगेंस्ट डेकेड्स ओल्ड यूएस सैंक्शंस ऑन क्यूबा कॉलिंग इट अ कॉन्ट्रीवेंशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड ओपिनियन एंबेसडर टू यूएन निकी हेली इन रिस्पांस हैज सेड दैट द यूएस वुड रिवर्ट टू वोटिंग अगेंस्ट द रेजोल्यूशन एज देयर प्रिंसिपल्स आर नॉट अप फॉर अ वोट प्रेसिडेंट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप हैज नॉमिनेटेड जेरोम पावेल टू सक्सीड जैनेट येलन एज चेयर ऑफ द फेडरल रिजर्व Trump said that Powell's nomination would not face any serious opposition in the Senate as he had the wisdom and leadership to guide the economy through any challenges. An Indian man Gerald D'Souza was re-arrested after he was released from prison following the completion of his 10-year sentence for posing a threat to public safety. Immigration and Customs Enforcement said that D'Souza violated the terms of his legal status in the US. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is all set to accompany President Donald Trump on his upcoming Asia trip. The secretary's six country trip will demonstrate the administration's commitment to their alliances in the Asia Pacific and highlight the ongoing engagement on regional issues of mutual interest. <laughs> President Donald Trump has ruled out allowing Congress to include any legislation to provide a solution for dreamers in the spending bill this year. The stance could spark a battle with democratic lawmakers or even a government shutdown due to lack of funds. <laughs> President Donald Trump has said that he would consider sending the suspect of terror attack in New York to the Guantanamo Bay military prison. Trump will ask Congress to terminate the visa lottery program under which the suspect from Uzbekistan entered the country. <laughs> Former Vice President Joe Biden has slammed President Donald Trump as a charlatan, arguing that he takes advantage of frustrated middle-class voters. Speaking at the Chicago Council on Global Affairs, Biden also called Trump childish for using Twitter to communicate parts of his foreign policy. The semiconductor manufacturer Broadcom will move its main headquarters back to the US. The White House said that Broadcom would transfer the legal domicile of its main headquarters to Delaware, which would allow the US to benefit from the 20 billion dollars in annual income earned by the firm. A US drone strike has killed two militants of the Yemen-based Al-Qaeda branch in northeastern province of Mari. The US military has stepped up drone airstrikes in the Arabian Peninsula since President Donald Trump has approved expanded military operations against the group. The White House has shared a list with Islamabad retaining information about 20 terrorist groups that are operating in Pakistan and Afghanistan. The US in the list has identified Lashkar-e-Taiba as one of the largest and most active terrorist organizations in South Asia. I'll be back. Still log on to indiantimesdaily.com as the news from Gujarat and Punjab follows.